Hi, Phil Young, North Island Livestock Manager for Cowfields. April saw us get some much needed rain around the country. We had um, some good uh, falls in the uh, Waikato, which was much needed. Um, 40 to 60 mils in a lot of places over the last couple of weeks, and although it hasn't done uh, a lot to alleviate the, the shortage of feed, it has um, just brightened spirits a little bit and it hasn't had any significant effect on the market at this stage. In fact, the older cattle market continues to decline in the uh, northern part of the North Island anyway. Um, it is providing some really good shopping opportunities um, in the Bay of Plenty, Waikato, South Auckland and parts of Northland. You know, we've seen two-year-old steers down as low as $2.30 to 50 a kilo at 380 to 420 kilos, which, um, you know, has got to be said that in comparative to the to the wiener market, they look really good shopping. Um, the dairy farmers are uh, continuing to send large numbers of cold cows, and um, while the market's still steady enough, we've seen a little bit of an easing. Probably um, the short weeks with Anzac and Easter, of course, haven't helped around um, space, but things have settled down and um, space is a little bit easier to get, sort of a week's wait in most places, but um, not too bad considering the time of the year. The lamb market is um, still steady, sort of lamb, store lambs trading at anywhere from $3 to $3.30 depending on weight um, and breed. Uh, still good demand for store lambs and not big numbers coming forward uh, to be fair. Um, it's dairy uh, clearing sale season, and we um, we've um, our our newly introduced um, ex farm source team has certainly made a difference to the um, number of clearing sales we're holding, um, predominantly in the Waikato and Taranaki, um, and a few in Northland. Um, the market's been pretty good, really, on, on especially on the better recorded um, and better quality cows. Um, the lesser types are a little bit hard, harder to sell, but um, but on the whole, you know, vendors' expectations have uh, been met, and we're um, we're pretty pleased with the results so far. Uh, still, um, a good number of clearing sales to go, um, going right through this month, and um, of course, first of June settlements, uh, end of May, first of June settlements, um, getting closer by the day, and we've got a good number of those to settle at the end of the month as well. Um, straight out of uh, our clearing sale season, of course, next um, month we'll be into the bull sales and um, there's not a working day, I think, of the month where car fields are not involved in a, um, a, a bull sale somewhere throughout the country. So um, we're looking forward to that. The, um, the genetics or stud stock team have done a really good job in um, you know, increasing our profile and, and providing a, a, a valuable service around genetics and stud stock to our clients and, and we're see, seeing really good gains in our, um, in our market share in that area so that's an exciting prospect for us. Not much else to report really but um, looking forward to a bit more rain and hopefully some warmer weather. We wouldn't like a really cold snap to come up at this stage. It's going to be um, a few frosts could have a pretty detrimental effect on the market because we've got no bank of feed in front of us in most places. So. Looking forward to the temperatures staying reasonably warm and um, another inch or two in, the, in a lot of places would um, do a lot to set us, out, uh, set us up for the winter period. Yep, that's about all from me and uh, hopefully I can report um, you know, some of those positives at the end of uh, next month and, and we can see uh, a winter period that's going to be kind to most. Cheers.